Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to legally download, save, and print many of my famous cover song tablatures. Now, cover songs are a really tricky subject on the internet because if they're not distributed or acquired properly, and if proper licenses aren't paid, it's very easy to violate copyright. And for that reason, I can't make tablatures and simply give them to you. But what I'm going to show you is a quick and easy way to legally get these. Okay, now it's some of my cover songs, it's not all of them. And so here goes. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to a website called Muse Score. That's spelled M U S E S C O R E dot com. Okay, and you're going to, this is a software package that you're going to download. Don't worry, it's safe. I use it all the time and I love it. So you're going to click this button that says Download Muse Score. The website might look different at the time that you're watching this. Okay, so here you go and you see free download. It is free. And it should know if you're on PC or Mac. This is open source software. There are lots of user forums, a great user manual. You can use it to create tabs, all that good stuff. Now, I'm not going to download it because I've already downloaded it and installed it. So you've got to download and install MuseScore. That's going to be your reader, okay? So next, uh, there are a couple of different places that you can get the tabs uh, for some of my cover songs, but I'm going to show you the place that I recommend first, and that is ultimate-guitar.com. Believe it or not, the nice folks who own this website are part of an umbrella company where MuseScore is also one of their web properties. These sites sort of in the background work together. And now Ultimate Guitar has paid for blanket licenses, meaning it's legal for them to give away cover songs. So certain users out there have taken it upon themselves to simply transcribe my music and put it up on this site, which at first, uh, I shouldn't say my music, my arrangements of other people's music, and they've uploaded it to this site. But unfortunately, as the arranger, I have no legal say in the matter. However, the songs are here legally. And so I want to show you what you got to do when you get to Ultimate Guitar. You type in Adam Rafferty in the search field. Boom. And you're going to see a list of many user uploaded tabs of my arrangements. And some of these, I got to say, are, are pretty good. Now, let's look at yesterday. You'll see there are two different ones. There's one that says Pro and there's one that says Guitar Pro. If you click on the one that says Pro, you will be prompted by Ultimate Guitar to become a member of their site and get the super duper tabs with all the bells and whistles. I don't think you need that. Look at the one that says Guitar Pro. So Guitar Pro is a certain file format. I'm going to click that right now. It's a certain file format that plays tablatures in the screen. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. You can add a metronome, you can change key. It's, it's really pretty cool. I don't use this. I don't use Guitar Pro yet, but after seeing how cool it is, I might. Now, uh, so you can, you can work on it right here in the browser, but of course there are limitations because you're on the free version. But watch this. Watch this. You're going to scroll to the bottom. And look here, there's a little button underneath all these ads that says Download Guitar Pro Tab. So you're going to download that. You're going to click that button. Go ahead, save it on your computer in a place that you know uh, where you'll be able to find it again. Okay. And so I'm going to make this uh, window go away. 
And there it is on my desktop. I don't know if you can see that. It says Adam Rafferty yesterday dot gp5 again i'm just telling you where to go i haven't created this i didn't make the website so if there are any legal complaints uh out there and if, or if you're watching this go talk to ultimate guitar or the or the folks who upload there i'm just pointing i'm just pointing you where you can get the resource now once you have muse score in uh, installed you can simply uh, one way or another, you can open up the file in MuseScore, and there it is. Boom. Now, you might see, oh gosh, it's in, it's in black dots. What if you don't read black dots? If you look up here, you will see a, a button that says Steel Guitar. That's another, that's another um, instrument. And you click that, and there are the notes and the tablatures. And that sucker is my arrangement of yesterday. Okay. Then from MuseScore, you can either print directly to your printer or you can save it as a PDF for future printing. Let me show you how I would do that on a Mac. On a PC, it might be a little bit different. Let's save it as a PDF. So I have to go Command P. I go here, Save as PDF. I'm going to put it right on my desktop. Let's call it yesterday. And that is not created by me. I downloaded this from Ultimate Tabs. Double click. And now let's just, uh, there's your PDF. Boom. And if I hit print on the printer, let's see what happens. And voila. There is your chart for yesterday. You can put this on your music stand and learn my arrangement. How cool is that? Just in case you're curious, there's another website out there that has some different functionality. It's called Songster. It's spelled S-O-N-G-S-T-E-R-R.com. It's got a little bit neater of a look, and it's pretty much the same tablatures have been uploaded here by wonderful users who thought it was the right thing to do to transcribe all my stuff and put it on free sites. Now, uh, Songster has some limitations. You can't print and download from here the same way that you can do on ultimateguitar.com. Okay, but if you like Songster better, the interface is a little cleaner. If you like it, if you're, I shouldn't say this, but if you're clever, you can simply do screen grab software. Okay, and I'll show you on a Mac. If you go to your utilities, it's screenshot. I click that. I do this. And I can take a little picture, for example, of that. So if I make the web browser go away, hang on, that's the screenshot. And I would have to put that into a program so that I could print it some kind of either graphics program or Microsoft Word or whatever. But I would say stick with uh, the, the ultimate guitar website. Alrighty, so I hope this helps you. This uh, resource where I felt that I was being taken advantage of, it might actually prove to be a wonderful workaround so that you can get your hands on tabs and enjoy learning my arrangements. If you have any questions, please email me. And like I said, as far as all the resources I've shown you, I don't own any of them. So if there are any legal questions, you got to talk to these nice folks. Alrighty, God bless.